In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate delta G for the reaction for a stepwise reaction. The first question reads, find delta G for the reaction shown underneath and use the following reactions with known delta G values to come up with this. So as you can see from the main equation, we have solid carbon as a reactant and H2O gas as a reactant. And on the product side, we have C3H8. Take a look at the second of the three equations shown here. We have solid carbon where it belongs in the main chemical equation. But over here it's three and there's no coefficient for this one. So what I will do is multiply this whole chemical equation by three. So if I multiply the whole thing by three, we can put a coefficient of three here, over here, and over here. Also, you must multiply this value by a factor of three. We'll do that in the end. What else is on the reactant side? Four H2 molecules. According to this chemical equation, there are two H2 molecules. So what I'll do is multiply this whole thing by two. That way this becomes a four, that becomes a two, and that becomes a four. Now, according to this chemical equation, the product is the reactant here. Therefore, we have to flip the reactants and the products. If you flip the reactants and the products, and excuse me, I forgot to multiply this by two. I should multiply by two. Going back to this, so if we flip the reactants and the products, we must flip the sign. So that becomes positive 2074. Negative 394 decimal four plus two times negative 457.1. And we end up with a delta G for this reaction that's negative 23.4. Negative 23.4 kilojoules. It's negative, so it will be spontaneous. If you'd like to see the solution to question two, make sure you watch question two of the series, which is coming up shortly.